Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Azith out here to, again showing you the best console settings for Apex Legends to, in my opinion, make you the best. So let's go off real quick. Ro be pretty speedy. So interact default button hits on. Shield icon. Stacking is better than floating because it shows you the total damage. Faded. Rich area's on just because I like seeing people die. Incoming damage react 3D so you can see exactly where the direction is above, below, to the left, to the right. Free mode off. Usage sharing, enabled, clear plan off, off, off. Controller, button layout. You definitely want bu button puncher. It's like the Call of Duty tactical version of, of this game. So your right analog stick is crouch and your B is melee. So if you have paddles, it'll be your back paddle to melee. Much better because you crouch light a lot in this game. Um, Crouch button or stick layout. That's where you left off. Stick layout default. Tap to use and reload just gets faster. Crouch button toggle, so that way you don't have to hold it, destroy your analog sticks. Aim button holds like every other game. Sensitivity, this is big. Uh, I recommend not going below three, and do not go above seven. So five, in my opinion, is the best. Maybe six, but five is the smoothest to me. ADS, you definitely want that to be near your normal sensitivity, so your shotgun actually is better. It will improve it greatly if they are closer together than far apart, because otherwise your hip fire will it's just your muscle memory is not going to be as close together. Um, response curve classic just because it's a linear line. Uh, the more you move your stick, the faster you move. Just, it's just like that. The less you move, the less you move. Uh, dead zones. I'll show you what happens if you put it on none. So if you put it on none, your character will actually have analog drift. This is when your screen moves by itself without you actually moving your stick. Let me put that back on. So small, it's literally negligible pretty much. It's just big enough. They, you don't have any drift. Oh, that's a look dead zone. Oh, that's right. So moving dead zone small, so you can get strafe faster because strafing is important. Um, inverted lick off. Pff, inverted look. Gosh, not lick. Off vibration off because it'll improve your accuracy if you don't have it off. Get used to it. It'll feel very weird at first, but once you're used to it, you will be more accurate. Video brightness. Mine's dead center, but brighter side is better than always darker, just cause shadows. You want to be able to see your person. Field of view. Let me show the difference. So here's a 70 field of view. It will make your target appear bigger. Making close gun rights. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh my god. Close gun rights. Okay. Close gun fights will appear easier than uh, having a bigger field of view is what I'm trying to say. And uh, farther away targets will also appear closer. However, the downside is you cannot see as much around what's going on. Um, let me show a big one now. This is 110. You also feel like you're moving faster, by the way, if you have a bigger one. Your target will appear further away than before. And when you turn, it looks kind of funky. That's why I don't use, I don't like it. Maybe, I know PC players do, but on console, no. However, there is a major benefit. When you are reviving with a bigger field of view, you will actually be able to see in front of you while reviving because your screen is stretched upwards more. Allowing you to see upwards. Oh no, he's Sliding gonna leave me. Hills increase the speed. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. So 80 is my personal favorite just because it makes close range people really easy to Remember, see. Maybe I'll go to 90 one day, but I recommend like 80 to 100. Just take it off the 70 unless you actually do notice a problem. Audio mastery, you definitely want that on 100 just because you want the game full volume going. Sound effects, this will be footsteps, explosions, grenades, all that sorts of stuff. 100 because footsteps are important. Dialogue, this is the characters talking. You, d you want this on still because sometimes they do say important things like if your team is up next to you and they don't say anything when they get shot at, it'll be like people on me. Or if you have the wraith, it'll be like someone's looking at you, all that kind of stuff. Music volume, that's just distractions. I have that pretty low. Lobby music, yeah, just a little peaceful tune, so I have that 48%. Subtitles off, convert incoming voice chat to off. That's pretty much everything. This is what a 5 looks like. And yeah, I'm out. Later. If you got any questions, 